Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to a brand new episode of Extraordinary Talks. And my name is Luis Barteles, and for today's video, as you can see, judging by the title of the video, we have a very special guest because finally we have another Miss Universe contestant. This time around, we have the contestant uh, who is representing El Salvador uh, this year at Miss Universe. Her name is Alejandra Guajardo. Uh, she is half Mexican, half Salvadoran, and uh, she is also a professional ballet dancer. Only 26 years old. However, she is already a graduate in international business from the University of Texas. She speaks uh, Spanish, English, French, and Italian. So as you can imagine, I am beyond excited for this conversation to get to know her, her journey, her hopes for Miss Universe, and just, uh, of course, have a fun interaction uh, on screen with her and with you guys as well. So my only request is that if you enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the like button, to share the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, please support Alejandra on all of her social platforms, her advocacy, and ultimately her Miss Universe journey as well. So I will not keep you waiting much longer. I know that you guys want to meet her as well. So I will see you with Alejandra right after the intro. All right, everyone. Now, please give it up for Alejandra. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you. Hello, Liz, hello. For of course. I get the chance to be with you. I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing amazing. Much better now that you're here with us. So, so excited to have you here. <laughs> Thank I know you, that we've been planning so this much. for a while, especially with uh, with Carlos. We've been going back and forth, you know, trying to make this happen. And having you here finally is honestly such a fulfilling feeling. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to be here and to get to know you a little bit more, too, because it's the first time that we talk. So I'm excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so let's make it a fun one and an interactive one with everyone. So before we get into the interview, I just want to say hello very quickly to everyone in the live chat. I see uh, some of you already popping up. Salvatore, Lane. I also know that Carlos is watching us because he told me that he will set his alarm. So um, I think that we are ready to start. So Alejandra, please let me ask you, um, uh, you know, for the people who are just seeing you for the very first time, who are discovering you, can you introduce yourself a little bit, maybe in a few words, a few sentences? Who are you? <laughs> I would love to. My name is Alejandra Guajardo, here at Miss Universe El Salvador 2022. And I would like to say that I'm a really productive person because apart from being a beauty queen, I'm also a businesswoman a lesser, a professional model, and an aspiring actress, and a professional ballerina dancer, as you said before. Yeah. I dance ballet a lot of years of my life, and also I love to do a lot of sports. I love reading. I love to play chess, bagamon, sudoku, and of course, like everyone, I love to travel and meet different cultures and meet different persons and the food. I love to eat. <laughs> we have that in common. I mean, <laughs> one thing about me is I love the food. <laughs> yeah, you know, too. I love to try. <laughs> when I was preparing for this interview, of course, I always do, you know, some background research just to get to know the person that I'm going to have a conversation with. And you were no exception. I think that you have a really, really interesting profile, which I think that is something that is consistent with a lot of, especially Miss Universe candidate, like a lot of beauty queens. They have very intricate, you know, backgrounds and studies and interest. Um, so getting to know you a little bit, you know, doing my research was a highlight already. Um, but can you please tell us a little bit about your national contest where you were crowned as uh, Miss Universe El Salvador? How was that experience for you? Well, before competing at Reinado de El Salvador, I competed in about nine pageants. 
Wow. So it took me a long way to be in this position right now, but it's mm -hmm. all worth it. My experience during the national pageant was amazing. We had so many growth facilitating activities that just doesn't include sponsored visits, but also some trainings in line, in line with our personality development. And the organization also was very supportive to all of us and ensured that all of our needs are attended and that we are mm. here, here, we are heard of our opinions and uh, as a woman in pageantry it's important that you work with people with passion and respect and that is how we were treated at reinado el salvador so i was really excited i was really happy to be part of it yes absolutely i'm so happy to hear that that you had a great experience and i know that the the best is yet to come so that's even more exciting um but, you know, just to go back a little bit to what I was telling you earlier about, you know, sometimes like the beauty queens coming from different backgrounds, but always being like super interesting people. I feel like whenever your your dream comes true and you finally get to obtain a national title that will take you to an international competition, it must be such like a like a, a like a, an unreal feeling like. Um, you, you might have to pinch yourself to believe it. So what was your reaction when you realized that you were actually going to be the next um, Miss Universe El Salvador? Well, I remember everything like if it was yesterday and all <laughs> I know is that I gave my all and I let Destiny uh, do her thing. The title mm -hmm. upon the most deserving lady to win and that night it happened to me. Uh, you see that when I was crowned, it was all smiles and still calm and collected, mm -hmm. but deep inside me, there's like a teenager jumping in bed, excited to watch her first ever Taylor Swift concert. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> please, Luis. I, I loved it. I, every time I, f I, I rem remember, I still feel like that emotion, That's, that, those sensations that I felt that day. Of course, I can only imagine. I mean, having the opportunity to represent an entire country must be such an honor, and especially such a beautiful country as El Salvador, of course, as well. <laughs> yes, of have, course. Have oh, no, there? I have never been, unfortunately, to El Salvador, but I have many, many friends from El Salvador. So, you know, I love the people, I love the culture. Even one of my ex is from El Salvador. <laughs> Oh, wow. So you know pupusas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That's good. That's good. I like it. Yes, absolutely. It's a beautiful country. Um, so one thing that, that I found interesting about you is that you have a mixed background, right? So you are uh, half Mexican, half from El Salvador as well, right? Yes. The family, the family of my dad is Salvadoran and the family of my mom is Mexican. Yeah. So I'm blessed to have two nationalities because I can get to know both cultures, both different type of people. But at the same time, they are kind of the same. You yes. know, they have similarities and I like that. Absolutely. I feel like that is common for Latin America in general. Yes. Like I'm, I'm from Cuba. So sometimes I feel like our culture, it's a little bit like because we're an island, right? We're not like within like the, the continent, like we're apart. But we still have a lot of, of thinking in common. So I think it's the same for some of the countries in Latin America. Even though they're all different and they have like their very specific things, we also have a lot of things in common that bring us together, right? <laughs> yes, I think that is what brings us together is the similarities because we Latinos are very warm yes. and we are social, you know, like we mm -hmm. have that. So I think that's the thing. <laughs> because you and common yes absolutely i agree with you um how was the reception um uh, from people from el salvador when you were crowned how did they you know make you feel after your coronation night well i i've been very supportive by them i feel that they are really um yeah supporting me they are always sending me messages of support they they send me like uh advices so i feel really loved 
from my country. So I think everything is fine for the moment, and I and I uh, hope it continues like that because I really feel loved. Oh, I hope so. I hope that it's gonna be amazing. And I mean, the love and support is right there. So just take it with you and just give it your best at Miss Universe and enjoy. I, Make the most out of it. <laughs> yes, I will. For sure. <laughs> Talking about Miss Universe, one of the things that I truly find amazing about you, because I, I can only imagine how thrilling it must have been, you had the opportunity to go to New York and go to the Miss Universe organization office. Please tell me about that experience. Yes, I thought it would be nerve wracking, but on the contrary, being at the Miss Universe office feels mm -hmm. like home. I didn't feel nervous at all. Yeah. Everyone is very welcoming. Everyone is warm, friendly, cheerful, and they're happy. They're happy when you come there. They receive you with a warm uh, mm -hmm. heart. The atmosphere there is very inviting. So I felt that I belong it. I belong there. Mm -hmm. It was a short visit, but it's one of the best times I had while I was in New York. It was a one ex one time experience. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you had a positive experience because, you know, especially one of your dreams being going to Miss Universe and having the opportunity to go to the office must be nerve wracking. But if you get there and you feel like everyone is welcoming and positive and the vibes are, you know, good, then it's all good. <laughs> feel different. Nervous goes away. Absolutely. So besides that visit to Miss Universe, uh, to their office, what would you say was the highlight of your visit to New York? Apart from filming my short Getting to Know Me video that I had with the Miss Universe organization, which is now available on YouTube. Did you yes. saw it? Did yes, you see? I saw it. You also had like a, a, a reaction to your coronation, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I had that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I will say that being amused at New York Fashion Week for Boogies mm. Rivera, did you saw? Did you see my I saw. <laughs> Hot work, hot work too. Okay. You were looking yeah. beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. He's an American Filipino designer. He's a really good person. Mm -hmm. And Carlos Apurco, which is my communications coach, who is mm -hmm. also a Filipino, connected yeah. with Boogie, and the rest is history. Walking in the wrong way in one of the most celebrated fashion events worldwide is an honor and definitely a dream come true because I always wanted to be in the New York Fashion Week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I felt so empowered wearing Boogie's dress. Absolutely. You looked incredible, first of all, and just going, having the opportunity to go to Fashion Week is already like incredible, but having yeah. the, the opportunity to be part of Fashion Week, that's even crazier. So yeah, I'm so, so happy. But, and hopefully this will be like some like, like a few of the many doors that will open for you in the upcoming months. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. I hope that too. Yes, of course. Um, I just wanted to say uh, a quick hello to everyone who has been joining us. I see actually some questions here in the chat. One of them is very interesting. This is coming from Salvatore, who is actually uh, my creative partner for this show. So he helped me come up with some of the questions that we're asking you today. Uh, Salvatore is asking, Alexandra, Alejandra, I have a question. El Salvador last, play, last placement in Miss Universe was in 1995. It's time uh, for your country to make it again. Uh, what is your plan for Miss Universe? So it's been a while for El Salvador, but how do you plan to bring back the crown? <laughs> okay, well, I know it was a long time that they uh, placed. Mm -hmm. But I feel I'm a really secure person. Yes. I, I feel confident about myself. And I think being myself is the way that I'm going to place in that stage and just have fun, enjoy it. And most important, like I said, and again, be myself. I think that's the clue that I think that's the key. That's the key. Mm -hmm for success or mm -hmm. that's what I think because you know when you're yourself then you're you're doing great you're doing good I, I think when you're trying to be someone else if you try to fake it 
the people will see it, you know? So mm -hmm. I think Miss Universe is looking for someone that is really authentic, mm -hmm. that what they think, that what they say, you can see it with their actions. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. And you know, I think that you also said it perfectly, even though it's been a long time, if you believe in yourself, if you showcase that you have what the organization is looking for, nothing can stop you, right? And especially me coming from Cuba, we are not in a position to judge because we don't even go to Miss Universe. So. Uh, <laughs> yes. Know. So I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, of course. You can do it. You got this. Um, now, so talking about Miss Universe as an organization, recently they announced uh, some major changes in their eligibility for women who will be able to join the pageant in upcoming years, starting um, on the next edition of Miss Universe. Not this one in January, but after that. Uh, what do you think about those changes? Well, we all know that nothing is permanent in this world but change. Mm -hmm. Change is inevitable. And mm -hmm. I believe that these changes gives more opportunities to women who are also deserving to be Miss Universe and facilitate its platform for social causes that should be raised awareness with it. Mm -hmm. It opens doors to women who feel that they are behind because of the limitations set up by previous norms. Yes. And we observe in our society, especially in pageants. Mm -hmm. I don't see any alarming concerns with these changes, so I'm supporting the Miss Universe organization about it. Yes, absolutely. I agree with you. And I'm also very, very happy with the changes. Actually, I think that it was long overdue to be more inclusive and give, you know, because if the entire purpose of the platform is to empower women, to give them a voice and just, you know, allow them to, to follow their dreams, you know, we shouldn't limit that to only a group of, you know, like a small group of women. We shall make it available for more people. Hopefully yeah. in the future, we'll see like even a little bump on the age limit. I think it's also time, yes. but any change, we are welcoming of it, of course. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Also, uh, very big news recently as well was unveiled that uh, the Miss Universe organization is now owned by a woman. What was your initial um, reaction and your thoughts about it when the news came out? Well, that was exciting for me. That is what crossed my mind instantly. Mm -hmm. A woman knows better than anybody else. So it's definitely something really important for Miss Universe, especially yes. now that most of the top executives are women. Mm -hmm. When the news broke the internet, Carlo and I were chatting and I, were, I was delighted by the new that you know miss n is yes. a new owner and with that i'm looking forward for everything that the new management has in store for all of us and i'm certain that my pageant sisters strongly feel the same yes i agree with you i think that it's gonna be an incredible pageant not just this year but also starting next year as well when the new management takes over it's going to be an incredible show. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with the platform and all yeah, the new and exciting I things to come. Can't wait. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Amazing. <laughs> all right. So I wanted to take a moment, of course, to talk about something super important in pageantry, and that is your advocacy. So please, can you tell me a little bit about your advocacy? What is, what is it that you're planning to do with this platform? Of course. I believe in food safety, security, and sustainability. The pandemic has affected every one of us, and it's important that we make conscious efforts to take care of ourselves. We must initiate having a healthy lifestyle through our food intake. Currently, I am coordinating with various social teams that will help me establish a community building program for people to value nutrition and understand the form to play concept. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Uh, and also, I think like it's something very, very timely, um, especially now, you know, after going through so many different hardships um, in the world um, an advocacy that can definitely have a very positive impact on everyone's lives. Um, for me personally, when I think of advocacy, right, especially because the girls usually come, you know, very often in, in certain countries, they will compete at a regional level and then they go to the nationals and then they go internationally. So 
what I always ask the girls is how do you plan to scale your advocacy from like a local level or like a national level to an international plan that will be able to, you know, have a bigger, uh, wider impact in the world? Well, basically, given the opportunity of being a Miss Universe will yeah. help me establish my community building programs in other countries. So far, luckily, coordination with the right connection is the key for me to get things going. Food safety, security, and sustainability is a worldwide issue, and many of us are still unable to produce our own food. That is why when calamities arise, we are left empty-handed. We are distressed if we are given the skills to make use of our private soils in produ producing food. Mm -hmm. Then we can also monitor our diet needs. And we are also able to save unnecessary cost because most of, of what we can eat to nourish our bodies is available at the convenience of our own backyards. Mm -hmm. So this can be given a spotlight with a global approach and definitely with the help of the Miss Universe organization, we'll be able to help more lives sustain and acceptable healthy living conditions. Absolutely. I agree with you. I think this is amazing. And as I said, so, so timely. May I ask if you don't mind, um, where did the interest for, for this advocacy uh, come from? Well, my dad, he, he had a cancer in the pancreas. Okay. So starting, well, before that, we started to grow our own food. But mm -hmm. since that uh, disease came to my dad, we we start to be more conscious to eat healthier and mm -hmm. have a healthier lifestyle because everything we eat is what you know we uh, we transmit mm -hmm. in our in our body so like for example every all the foods all, all the vegetables and fruits that now you find that stores are full of chemicals, pesticides, yes, fertilizers, you know, all of that. So all of that causes the diseases. So mm -hmm. that's why we started to grow our own organic food. Okay, I see. So in, in a way, it's kind of a family effort to help yeah. your dad as well go through, um, through the illness and at the same time get better, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to, to make people conscious about it, that if you eat healthier, your your life will be healthier and you will reduce the the diseases that will come in the future of course of course well thank you thank you so much for sharing so generously and i hope that your dad is doing well sending him all the positive vibes <laughs> thank you Lee. of course um let's talk a little bit about the pageant what is yet to come when it comes to miss universe so when you think of the future and the upcoming weeks, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge? Uh, I believe it will be the disinformation. Living in a past phase digital age where everything is accessible over the internet, it's unfortunate that we are still some people who rather join in the bad wagon of false information than to fact check what they've read, seen, or here, here. Uh, regardless, regardless of any advocacy, current events, or even social stigmas, mm -hmm. we are responsible for what we take in for ourselves. They yeah. say the pen is uh, mighter than a sword, true mm -hmm. to it. We should then be careful of filtering the sources of information we gather daily so to as we do not spread fallacies and severe specific culture, nor method or even means of living. Okay, thank you so much. I, I, I actually agree with you. I think that this information nowadays, it's such, I was like a dangerous weapon. <laughs> I might be overreacting a little bit, some people might think, but I think that this information is a way of, you know, manipulating, you know, people and society overall. So I think, uh, I agree with you. <laughs> so can you tell me, so that is, you know, the biggest challenge, as you said, but in terms of your own skills, what is it that you feel more confident about? 
Mm, I will say being practical is what I'm proud of because it means I practice critical thinking rather than being impulsive. Okay. Mm, that's very important and very yeah. helpful during the pageant as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can be impulsive. Yes, of course. Um, I'm going to bring here a question from our viewers. Uh, this is my friend, Red Masticat. Hello, Red. Uh, Red is asking, uh, can we ask Alejandra what segment of the pageant is she looking forward to? For example, swimsuit or evening gown or interview. So what makes you feel more excited when you think of Miss Universe? Uh, definitely the evening gown. Yes. I think there is when you reflect all your personality, your elegant, your, yeah, how elegant you are. Mm. So for me, the most uh, exciting is the evening gown for sure. I'm excited Same. to that part. Same. Exactly. Well, every, everything is <laughs> everything. the sweet, the, the interview, mm -hmm. being with the other candidates, but. For me, I think the evening gown a little bit more. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's going to be beautiful, you know. And as I said, like, from beginning to end, everything is, like, so, so exciting. You know what really makes me feel excited uh, personally? I always look forward to the opening number because I feel uh, like it sets the tone for the rest of the show. So I'm always, like, waiting for that. <laughs> yes, it's exciting. Everything is exciting. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, now... Now that you mentioned the evening gown, of course. So without revealing anything, you know, because we want you to be able to surprise everyone during Miss Universe, what can we expect as viewers from your upcoming pageant journey at Miss Universe? Um, well, but about my wardrobe or... Um, as whatever you feel comfortable sharing, that is not compromising. Like, I don't want you to ruin any surprises. But what can we expect? In the, is it going to be like something that will surprise us? Or are you going more conservative? Are you going to be taking risks? Okay, well, overall. Um, not conservative. I always think out of the box. So for sure, I will give you a lot of surprises. Nice. And I, I hope I can... Um, I can uh give everyone like a, a surprise exceed our expectations <laughs> exactly like no expectations because, like that i i i don't like to be you know following the line no i'm not like that i always think out of the box i always i always want to be different and have different things styles so it will be something spontaneous and different for sure Absolutely. You know, here, my friend, Brad Masikat, once again, same person who asked this question is saying, oh, I thought Alejandra will say swimsuit since she looks like she will rock it and a piece of cake, just like all Latinas. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. But to be honest, I yes. feel, um, okay, so the swimsuit, it's more like, you know, yes. like, mm -hmm. um, it's fun, like it's fierce, it's playful. Yeah. <laughs> And I feel, I feel I'm a little bit more elegant. So, you know, I did ballet all my yes. life. And how is ballet? It's perfect. You know, yes. everything's perfect and elegant. And when I'm, when I'm in the evening gown, that's how I feel. So I think that's when all my, my personality shows. Mm, I that's agree with you. <laughs> I see where you're coming from. I see it. I see it. <laughs> yeah. But regardless, I'm sure that you will... You know, you will look beautiful in all segments. You will present yourself beautifully as well. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about being beautifully confident, right? <laughs> yeah, be yourself. And that's it. <clears throat> exactly. That's, that's all. It. Um, so, because of, as we said, like, there are different segments in the pageant. And, of course, I'm guessing that you and your team are also focusing on the things that you want to really work on. So when it comes to those areas that you want to spend more time preparing, what is it at the moment? Uh, well, Carlo, that he's been he's been working with me also with our trainings, told me the value of being a self starter, like mm -hmm. to see videos on YouTube on how to do my makeup or how to do my hair, how to yeah. do my color 
fuck. So I, I'm focusing my, my energy in preparing myself in all the categories that we have to do. And Carlo is being very helpful with the public speaking, okay. you know? Yeah, so I think to be, to, to not depend on anyone, never. Mm-hmm. To know everything and to learn everything so you will be self-sufficient. Absolutely. And I really like what you just mentioned. I mean, of course, first of all, that you're getting support from Carlos. So thank you, Carlos. <laughs> uh, but also, I really like that you mentioned the fact that there are so many um, like resources and tools that are available out there most of the time for free for the girls to go and you know uh, and take those benefit from those resources to also prepare right uh and this is not just for miss universe but for girls who want to participate in pageants you know and sometimes it's a lack of like uh team members sometimes it's a lack of resources sometimes they don't know where to get answers from so the internet literally has everything yeah go on yeah literally i think (laughs) nowadays you don't well, I, for me, I think it's better, yes, to have like a teacher, but now you can learn everything on the internet. Like you, you can be so sufficient in a lot of things. Like you can learn how to play an instrument. Mm-hmm. You can learn another language only on YouTube, on the internet. So I think if, if someone says like, oh, I didn't have support from my directors or from my organization, well, that's, that's not an excuse nowadays. Absolutely. I agree with you. The resources are there. They are yours to go and grab them. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Um, my friend Salvatore is saying here in the chat, um, you have done a great job, Alejandra. And I agree. Oh, You're doing you great. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you yeah. know my middle name? Right. My middle name is actually Alejandro. So we have that, you know, oh, we have that okay. connection. <laughs> Tocaya. Tocaya. <laughs> sí. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, of course, right now you have this platform, right? Representing El Salvador at Miss Universe. And, and there's always something very unique, very special about each country. When it comes to El Salvador, what is something about your country that, that you want the entire universe to know? Okay, well, so I think you've heard of pupusas, right? I'm going to oh, start from that. Yes. Because it's delicious mm. and it's something really traditional from my country. Mm-hmm. But apart from our delicious food, we are known as the land of volcanoes. Did you know? That I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, because we have frequent volcanic activity and we have 23 volcanoes. So oh my God. we have plenty of it. And we are also a tropical country where where the we are the only country in Central America that doesn't have a Caribbean coastline. But still, we are a surfer paradise. Did you know that in El Salvador, it's the world surf? Really? How does that work? <laughs> it's in El Salvador because we have the best. Uh, oh. oh my God. That's, um, I, see, I didn't know. I need to go and book my ticket for El Salvador right after and- this interview. <laughs> also, we are the first country to use the Bitcoin as an official currency. That's true. I yeah. heard that. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Okay, with- so you can pay with Bitcoin like yes. anywhere you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everywhere you can, you, you can pay with Bitcoin. Oh, my God. Yeah. We are living in 2022. You guys are living in like 2050. Exactly. <laughs> also, we are doing a, a Bitcoin city. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Okay. Now you really got me pumped. I, I, I got to go to El Salvador. <laughs> yeah. You definitely need to go. And of course, our people are one of the best. Yes, of course. We're really, fun, we're really, really, uh, really welcoming. We, we are really, we're really happy persons. Very yeah. happy. I'm really, you know, something that I always really appreciate as someone who gets to like talk to a lot of beauty queens and do this type of interviews is that I always leave these conversations feeling like I learned something, you know? So I thank you for, for telling me, for teaching me a little bit about your country as well and to my audience. And I hope that we're still going to learn more by following your journey at Miss Universe as well. 
course, yes. you will for sure. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, may I ask you? So, as I told you earlier, you know, we are living in 2022. People from El Salvador are in 2050. <laughs> so, where do you see the world of pageantry maybe in 20 years from now? In your opinion, of course, no pressure. Okay. If there is one thing that pageants in nature has, mm -hmm. it is that it's progressive. It goes mm -hmm. out of the box, not only providing in, in entertainment, but also in character, character development. While it's good to keep some traditions alive, mm -hmm. I guess the consideration of what we are used to and what we haven't seen is what makes pageant interesting and socially relevant. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I agree with you. I, I, I think that at my core, I'm a progressist person. Like I always want, you know, a little bit more progress and I feel like things don't move sometimes like, uh, as fast as they should but of course any change is always welcome so yeah changes <laughs> are necessary mm -hmm. absolutely now as we prepare to wrap up the interview um I always like to ask the girls you know because before you go to Miss Universe um, you're going to be preparing and you're going to be like working really hard. But when you get there, you will feel the love, the pressure and everything that comes with being in such a visible um, position. So my question for you is, how can we, the pageant fans, the pageant content creators, make it easier for you and the other girls while you are competing? I believe platforms like yours uplift the woman in pageantry. It is through bloggers like you, Luis, that we are here heard, and I'm immensely thankful for that. Apart from it, I hope fans will create a safe space for healthy discussions. Bashers will be bashers, and there will be no easy means to stop such those act, such acts, you know. Yeah. But uh, but I also believe that if I were if um, if there are like more good apples in a tree than rotting ones yes. then it's just insignificant yeah. so with apple you are a pageantry oh <laughs> thank you so much that means a lot and of course we'll be sending you all of our love and support at all times during your competition so just focus your your uh, your energy on the on the positive feedback oh, that, that you will receive yeah yes. that's something that i that i always say that don't focus on the negative uh, comments just if they're constructive but mm -hmm. if they're just like negative because maybe they are um supporting another contestant then mm -hmm. why should you like put your attention on that when a lot of people are supporting you so just pay attention with the people that is supporting you and give the energy to those people because they're taking their time to support you to send you comment to send you messages to put you comments so like be uh you know, thankful for that. Of course. I agree with you. Um, may I ask you, so uh, I have one last question for you. But before we get into that question, I want to I wanna ask you, what would you like to say to the people watching you, like the audience? What do you want them to remember from you? Not just to the people watching us live right now, but also to those who will have access to rewatch this live stream later on. What do you want them to remember from you? Well, that everything is possible in this life if you if you focus and if you work really hard because like i said this is not my first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth it's my ninth pageant that i compete because i believed in myself and i knew that i could make it happen because i i trust myself you know so if you really want something in life, you need to work really hard and you will definitely achieve it because the people that per that persist, they they persevere in life. If you insist and never desist, then that's how you will achieve your dreams and goals in life. She's ready for the crown now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alejandra. Uh, my last question to wrap this up. Why should you be crowned as our new Miss Universe? <laughs> That's the the question that they always ask. It's a must. <laughs> yes, it's a must. 
<sighs> okay, well, once I've read that a strong woman knows she has strength enough for the journey, but a woman of strength knows it is in the journey where she will be becoming strong. As a Miss Universe, people are expecting someone who is polished and composed, someone who is well-made as a woman. In this journey, I have traveled to the unknown world of glitz and glamour, and as the public perceive it, but it's just a tip to an iceberg in this journey. I've grown stronger in faith and discipline to be able to make my country proud and for myself to be the new era of one universe. It is my, my responsibility to uphold height with the values of compassion, empathy, and perseverance that I was shaped through the years because of my family and my friends. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you are amazing. You are amazing. Sweet, you. beautiful, intelligent. You have everything that it takes. And I just wish nothing but the absolute best for you during your journey. Um, as I told you, we will be, you know, supporting you and sending you positive yeah. vibes all the time. And I just want to say before, you know, ending this, I just want to say that I really, really appreciate you as well for accepting to do this interview with me, especially to do it in English for my audience, because you and I both speak Spanish, so we yeah. could have easily done it in Spanish, but we wanted to involve everyone and bring them along with us for the interview. So yeah. thank you for being so gracious. Well, thank you, Luis, for inviting me. It was a pleasure to be here with you. And you are really sweet and kind. Thank you so much. And I hope to meet you soon and yes. have an interview uh, to have Please, more. let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> thank you. And of course, everyone as well watching us and staying with us here until the end or even rewatching this video. Thank you as well for staying. Don't forget to go and support Alejandra on her social medias. Please, Alejandra, where can we find you on social medias? It's Ale Guajardo. Uh, I don't know how to say guión bajo. Uh, it's underscore. Okay, let me just pull up. I have your Instagram right here. Underscore SB. Yes. Okay, so Ale Guajardo underscore SB. I will yes. put the link in the description down below so you guys can go and support and follow in all of those amazing things. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Cariño, un placer hablar contigo. Un placer tenerte por acá. Te mando un besote, un abrazote muy grande y te deseo lo mejor del mundo siempre. Gracias, Luis. Gracias por esta entrevista. Me encantó conocerte y me encantó que me entrevistaras. Eres una persona increíble. Mm, gracias. Igualmente. Okay, everyone. So we're going to let you go now. Thank you and have an, a, wonder, a wonderful day. <laughs> bye now. Bye bye. Buenas noches. <laughs>